This is the Misfit Vegan Podcast, episode 221. You're either collecting excuses or finding results. If you are collecting excuses, you are looking at the wrong things and you will never be able, you will never be able to break free. You'll never be able to get what you say you want. We've got, we've all got a story. We've all got so many reasons why we can't do something, why there's no way possible. But I'm telling you right now, if you ever want to break free, If you want to get out of the hood, if you want to lose weight, if you want to clear your skin, if you want to stop being a victim, because victims are never happy, they never get their goals. If you want to stop all that shit in your life that you don't like, you're going to have to become someone who takes those reasons why you can't and you use those reasons as the way that you can. You're going to have to do something extreme. Now, I hate to recommend that because a lot of people in my industry they will say, okay, well, I'm going to go on a 40-day juice cleanse. You know, that's extreme. Yeah, extremely stupid. That's extremely stupid. Let me tell you why. I did it. I did many, many juice cleanses in my life. And every single time after the juice cleanse, I gained weight every single time. So I gained all the weight that I lost and double. So I lost 20 pounds in the month of January in 2018 when I did a 35-day juice cleanse. Don't recommend it because in the next few months, I gained back 40 pounds, all right, as a raw vegan. Yep, eating zero processed foods. Yes, you can gain weight eating raw. You will always, always, always gain weight doing a juice cleanse if you are someone who has a food addiction or you're someone who's just doing the juice cleanse to lose weight as a quick fix, okay? I'll never do another juice cleanse unless I'm sick. If I'm sick and my body does not want to eat, if I'm not hungry, perhaps, yes, that is a good time to do a juice cleanse until you are hungry again and then you want to eat. Um, I tell you this so you don't have to make the same mistakes that I did, but I just want to remind you right now, you're either looking for the excuses, or you're finding the results. You're collecting data all the time as to why you can't do something. And of course, you're not going to be able to do it. Stop looking for evidence of why you can't. Stop looking for the real life evidence. Yeah, there's plenty of evidence that you can't ever do it. Okay, you're looking at the wrong fucking thing. If you want to be realistic, if you want to be... um, If you want to be focused on the reasons why you can't, then for sure, you never, ever can. You never can. Stop focusing. And hey, some of you guys, and this is the real, real, some of you guys don't want to get healthy. Yeah, I said it. Some of you guys don't want to lose weight. You say you do, but you really don't. Some of you guys don't want to look better, feel better, do better. Some of you guys don't want to follow your dreams and your passions because it's it's scary. It's scary to be a different size. Well, then you're going to have to buy all new clothing. And then your um, men might hit on you and and you might feel like um, you might cheat on your husband if men hit on you. And then what will that be like? Or um, then you'll, if you lose weight, then your friends might get jealous and they might not be your friends anymore or your sister or your husband or your brother or whatever it is. If you get healthy, then you're not going to be relatable to them. And well, then you're going to lose that connection and then you're going to be all alone and you're going to be so lonely. So you might as well just stay the same. I can think of a million more excuses that people have told me. Oh, they bond with their kids. Food is like a way to bond with their kids, but the food causes them to have extremely severe pain in their stomach. But it's, you know, it's how they're bonding with their kids. And it's like, you got to choose. Stop saying you want something. 
if you really don't actually want it. You got to sit down and look at and right now, today, write the reasons why you do want something and the reasons why you don't. And you know, I had a client that could not think of one reason why she didn't because she's never taking the time to get to know herself. You got to shut off your phone. You got to take the time to understand you have multiple parts to yourself, parts that want to lose weight and parts that don't. That's why you keep losing the weight and gaining it back because you're going to fulfill your needs and you, there's a need to have excess weight around your stomach. There's a need for you to have excess weight around your thighs. You've got to look at that part of you. I know it's not, it's not a quick fix and you're not going to see this in a, um, you know, meal plan guide or a workout plan. No, this is the real truth. The truth is the amount to which you don't have something is the amount to which you are resisting it. So please today look at how you're resisting and look at all your excuses and acknowledge them and say, you know what? I'm not going to collect evidence anymore as to why I can't do something. I'm going to, I'm going to make a decision every day, multiple times a day to do something that's going to lead me to what I really, really, really want and deserve because you deserve, you deserve the health and the body of your dreams. You deserve to be happy. You deserve love and abundance and health and energy. You don't deserve to suffer. You don't deserve to wait in doctor's offices and get these x-rays and, and wait for the test results and then, you know, suffer and not eat the things you want to eat and have these cravings and then give in and then feel like shit and then gain more weight and then your skin looks worse and then you can't sleep and then you're in a bad mood and everyone suffers because you're suffering. The last thing I'll say, the last thing I'll say, you got to take care of you. If you are in a relationship with anyone, romantic partner, a friendship with your family members or coworkers, if you have any other people in your life, You've got to take care of you, a roommate, a best friend. You've got to take care of you for them. And they got to take care of themselves for you. No one is coming to help you. Yeah, you can hire a coach. It's not going to work. If you don't do the work, it's not going to work. A coach can help you in the beginning, sure. But they're not going to be there for you always, 24-7 to make the decisions. You've got to start becoming your own coach. You've got to start taking care of yourself first, first thing in the day, before you take care of your kids, before you take care of your husband, before you have to come first. Mm, good good uh, uh, sex advice as well, ladies. You have to come first or else it's never going to happen. I thank you very much for listening. And I will see you guys in the next episode. I just want to remind you real quick that you have one more day to check out the plant-based bundle. I'll leave the link in the show notes. And the link is also in my stories and on my YouTube videos right now. It's over $8,000 worth of eBooks and courses and meal plan guides, which will absolutely help you. It's not going to help you with the subconscious programming that we have to change, but it's going to be the information that is going to help you because that is 50% of the equation. You need the information. You need the recipes. You need to know how to work out, when to work out, what to eat, when to stop eating, all those things. What's best for your skin? What's best for your um, IBS? What's great for eliminating migraines? You need all that stuff, but you also need the other 50%, which is the work you do alone. Nobody's watching. Nobody's clapping for you. It's the journaling. It's the tapping. It's the thinking about what you deserve. It's the decisions you make, the one second decisions you make, okay? Whether to say, I love you in the mirror or not. It's such a small thing. But if you go to the mirror and you start saying, I love you, it will become a habit. And now, every time I see a mirror, I say, I love you. And it feels so good. I finally feel like I'm on my side. And I know it's silly to some people but I'm getting the results that a lot of people want. So how motherfucking silly is that, boo? <laughs> I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.